guys here is what's happening this is called the magneto pause look at your timestamp. 20 minutes after midnight utc time now down here at the bottom this is called standoff notice you got 10 11 and i've got the yellow arrow at 12. that is the normal standoff point during normal conditions of the white curved line that represents our magneto pause our shields the sun is coming from the right the energy the circle in the black dot guys it represents earth the side that's white represents the sun facing side that tells you where the energy is coming from in this diagram your dotted lines that go around represent the goes satellites in the south korean comes satellite orbit now as you can you'll see the stress from the solar stream intensifying as we go through today as i play this forward but again your sun is to the right the energy is coming from the right towards our planet the shields are what protects us remember we're in solar minimum not just any solar minimum but grand solar minimum our shields are extremely weak there's a couple things that are messed up about this again as we go through the day notice your time stamp you can see that uh, it tries to ease up tries to bounce back out to the 12 point on the standoff now we're starting to see a couple weird things happen here the irregular patterns uh, at the top and bottom of the shields when they collapse like that you automatically can look towards geneva switzerland it's called cern because their magnetic field that they are creating now and they will tell you is 100,000 times stronger than the earth's magnetic field but again this uh, it's pushing the earth shields almost into the satellite band notice that the harder that pushes, the more energy that is pushed into the Earth's core. We'll look at another diagram that will explain that better. But you can see the compression and look at the distortion in the shields. This is at 13, 1400 now going into it. Notice it went from blue to purple. It was almost a vacuum of uh, a lack of energy coming behind this pulse. But again, look at the distortion here at the south pole of our shields. And if you look at CERN today, and we'll take a look at that in a moment, you can see they're running at peak. Again, at 13 tera electron volts of energy. Now, let's look at, stay with the magneto pause and just go to this, uh, what's called a Y cut. We're a couple hours earlier here, just before midnight on the 31st. Same series of events. This backs off, gives you a little further view. Same thing's happening inside the black dot in the tiny white circle. That's Earth to the right of sun facing. The long red band is the energy burning off and going around our planet and being absorbed by the closed uh, magnetic field lines that are to the right side of our planet. Now, this is the energy. That's why we do not burn up. That's why we are not like Venus because of our magnetic shields. There's openings in these field lines right there, guys. See that? Let me pull it up a little. And these are called cusps, C-U-S-P, -C cusp. And they are openings in the shields. And if you have enough energy as we go through this, watch it. You'll see these red areas of uh, solar energy heat come into the very planet. Now, notice the red lines out here. They're absorbing energy, and it's pulling it into the magnetic field lines. That's what you see on your compass. That's what the whales and birds use when it's working right for navigation. But right now it's pulling hot energy in. As we go through this, you will see that the large red band to the outer edge actually penetrates beyond the shields. Right here you can see it bend in and it gets worse. It will start coming in from both sides because our shields are weak and we're going through a geomagnetic storm. This is heating the world's magma. Guys, right now, half of the planet's earthquakes on a daily average are coming from the Big Island. If we have 30, or if we have 3,000 quakes, half of those, 16,000 or so, will be from this one island. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. But as you look at that now, you see these openings, both the North and South Pole. That energy is pouring in, and this is the time when we were seeing the shields really collapse in towards that satellite band it's important to know and we watched it i guess for four or five years now since cern started cranking back up at their new energy levels 
and uh, I don't know if they planned it like this or whatever and now it's almost I was watching a video guys as if CERN is saying instead of trying to discover the Big Bang Theory that they're trying to generate a magnetic field to protect the planet because they know the shields are weakening is that what they're gonna say now I'm not sure but again you can see these magnetic lines uh, peel back away from the planet right here tremendous amount of red energy this heat energy is coming in between the polar cap black field lines and the red closed magnetic field lines almost a solid burst of energy you in places here we're over 100 degrees heat factor beginning of june that's kind of normal but the volcanoes and the intensity of the lava on the surface is not normal Guys, during the so grand solar minimums and where we've seen these cooling periods, these uh, many ice ages, they've gone back and done ice core samples, and they all were matched by heavy volcanic ash layers. Why? Shields are weak, energy pours in, it heats up, volcanoes explode, the ash goes into the atmosphere, and it creates a double impact as far as a almost like a nuclear winter, but a volcanic winter with ash combined with the cooling so it's a double whammy